Hello, and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fix-It. In this video, I'm going to show you how to avoid a scam. And what I'm going to show you is something that you've probably seen before and was having some trouble trying to get the web page to close. Now, what I'm about to show you is what a typical scam looks like. Now, what you'll do, uh, you're, let's say you're on the internet and you come to the website and all of a sudden you get this message. Okay? Now, once you're getting a message like this, this is one of thousands that you may see. Uh, they range from everything from some PC support or PC Air, um, Microsoft support. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones uh, that are similar to this. And I will show you some other ones that I found. Now, <clears throat> when these come up, uh, you can't do anything at all. Because this is nothing more than a website. That's all you're looking at. It's just a website with a pop-up message. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you have a virus on your computer. But, nonetheless, it doesn't hurt to have your computer scanned. Just in case. Because these websites are designed for your interaction. Because the first thing you want to do is click OK or try to close the program. And if you do, chances are it's going to try and download a virus because this is to trick your internet service or your internet security into thinking that you're accepting something most antivirus software will block the uh, download if it tries to download anything but this is nothing more than a fake message that's right it's a fake message this has nothing to do with your computer. Nothing at all. In fact, you still have control of your computer. The only thing you can't do is close this page. Now, it's going to tell you stuff like, oh, don't close, don't shut down your computer, don't restart it, but please call 1-800, blah, 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 blah. And then they're going to contact you, and then they're going to try and tell you, okay, this is how you bypass it, and this is exactly what I'm going to show you on how they bypass all these. And then they want to try and remote into your computer, show you a bunch of bogus problems, and then uh, try to hit you with a big repair price. And if you refuse to pay their so-called uh, repair service, then they will lock you out of your computer. Now, I will go into details uh, in other videos, uh, but right now I'm going to show you how uh, to get rid of these messages. Now, it won't hurt to go ahead and scan it once you get the, uh, the page to close. And let me show you how these pages work. Now, let's say I'm on a web page and everything you see on here is actually a program. Believe it or not, it's a type of program. Uh, this is called the hyper uh, Hypertext Markup Language. It's HTML. Every website has them. And this is what the browser interprets. Let me give you an example. Now, this here is the raw language. This is everything that the browser understands. It's a type of program. For instance, the programs that you install on your computer, they run EXE, which is an executable program. Well, the operating system understands the language to allow it to interact with you and anyone else that opens it. The HTML is similar to a program. This right here is just a language that is designed for this website. Now, this language tells the browser exactly how to behave when a user does a specific task. For instance, mouse overs. See what happens if I do a mouse over? 
this language tells the browser how to do that. If I go up here, you can see how everything changes just by mouse over. This language that you see here is what tells that browser to function. It tells a browser how this web page is to design, how it displays, how it interacts, what happens if you do a mouse over, what happens if you click on a link. This language is what it does. Now, to go back to the program, this web page is nothing more than what I just showed you. It's just a language the browser understands. This is nothing that's on your computer. Nothing at all. This is just a web page. And this is a fake web page. So, how do you close these things? Well, most of you have probably forced your computer to shut down by pressing the power button and leaving it pushed in until the computer shuts off. That's a no-no. That's a big no-no. Because doing that uh, when your computer is operating can harm the computer. It can damage it and then you may have problems trying to get it to reboot. So, one of the things that you'll do if you come across one of these messages is to simply force the program to close. And here's how. On your keyboard, this will work with any operating system uh, for Windows from XP all the way up to Windows 10. Uh, what you'll do is on your keyboard, press the Control, Alt, and Delete keys all three at the same time you will come to a screen here. Now if you're using Windows 7 and Windows 8 or 10 you'll come to this screen. Now if you're using XP or Vista you'll automatically go to Task Manager. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and choose Task Manager. Now you're going to see Task Manager come up. Now if you're using XP or Vista the Task Manager is going to show you all the processes. If you're using Windows 8 or Windows 10, it just shows you a summary of the programs. Now, we're going to go into detail later on, uh, for specifically for uh, Windows uh, 10, since this is what this computer is, and a lot of you are changing over. But first, you'll see the program right here. As you can see, I'm running Chrome. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen. What you'll do is you'll go ahead and right click, you can select it and then choose in task. This will force the browser to close. Now, for the other, the rest of you uh, who comes on, when you open task manager, you'll come under the processes. Now, this is Windows 8 and Windows 10, <coughs> excuse me, this is Windows 8.1 and Windows 10's version. But if you're using earlier versions, uh, like Windows 7 and prior, then you'll see a list like this under Processes. Now, what you'll do is you'll find Chrome, which is Chrome EXE. Now, what you want to do is you want to right-click and then End Task. Now, you're going to get a message that's going to ask you if you're confirming the end process. And there you go. You want to highlight the very first Chrome in the, in the list. And then this way, that's the primary one. The rest of them are plugins and other uh, tasks that the, the browser uses. Now, I'm going to leave this on its side because we're going to show you uh, another t uh, technique that you can use on another browser. Now let me go ahead and move this out of the way. Now let me reload Chrome. Now the first thing you're going to notice when you reopen your browser, or in this case Chrome, you're going to see a message across the top here. It's going to say that the previous browsing session closed unexpectedly or did not shut down correctly. Now it's going to ask you if you want to restore. Do not 
restore. Because if you do, that message is going to come back and you're back to square one. So, do not restore. You just click the X on the far right side and the message goes away and you're back to the beginning. Now, your browser is good to go. And there you go. Now your browser works good. Now, that's the same thing with Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Firefox. When you force to close them, it's going to come back and say that the previous uh, browser session did not uh, shut down correctly. Just X out the, the message, do not restore the page. This next step is for those who are using Windows 10. Now, Windows 10 has a new browser called uh, Microsoft Edge. Uh, this program here um, has no direct connection to anything on, else on the computer. For instance, if you got the message and then you try to close it, Microsoft Edge is pretty stubborn. Important security message. Your computer has a severe virus and spy. Now this is something you've probably heard before. Or something similar. This is another one of these. You will be guided in the removal of the virus and spyware on your computer. Seeing these messages means that you definitely have a virus installed. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the audio off because it just repeats itself is all it does. Now again, this is another type of message that you might see. It too is a fake. All these messages that you see appear on the screen while you're on the internet is a fake. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, this one here uh, is one of the ones, some of these will claim that they're Microsoft support. Uh, this one here shows it's Windows Defender. Uh, the one down here uh, has you call the uh, toll-free number. And it, it's, all it is is just to get you to, you know, to call the number, uh, and you can look these numbers up. There's, there's nothing associated with these numbers. Uh, a lot of these numbers route you over to overseas. Now, again, if you force quit it, that will go away. Now, this is what I'm referring to. Whenever you're doing this and you try to force quit it and then it comes back, now here's what you have to do. You want to close the CP program. This is a Microsoft Edge CP that you see here listed that I have highlighted. Right click it and then choose in task and then in process. And as you can see, it comes right back. Now, this is to make you think that something is wrong because of the way Microsoft Edge works. So, what you'll do is you do it a few more times. Now, you have this page again. Now, once this page is done, Go ahead and close it. Reopen it and it goes right back to normal. And this specifically works with the Microsoft Edge program because of the way it was designed. Now, this is basically all there is to it. If you uh, have any trouble with this, just let me know. I'll be able to help you out. Uh, these here are primarily just fake websites are all they are. And all you have to do is just use the techniques that I showed you to get around the problem and then you can go right back to what you were doing. Now, again, if you come across these messages, once you bypass them, please close everything that you have open, save any work that you need saved, and do a complete virus scan on your computer. Don't do a quick scan. Do a full scan of your computer to make sure that a virus did not download on your computer. Well, I am your host, Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation by ES Repair. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.
and I'll be able to I'll try and help you answer any questions that you may have and be stay tuned for more videos by ES Repair. I'm your host Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.